What's going on, fellow YouTube users and subscribers? Today I want to talk about adding experimental storage, a wire connection using a doggo to the new Chromecast with Google TV. So without further ado, let's go. you guys are going to need um, what I use at least to expand the storage on the Google um, sorry Chromecast with Google TV is of course a certain expandable memory I got a little 32 gig SanDisk setup USB style 3.0 uh, 3 and then a this is what I got so this is the uh, 6 and one USB C hub Ultratech by Ultratech Smart uh, there's the model number of it right there what it can do, um, what it, and what it looks like. Here. So let's like, talk about what it can do. So take if you read that, it says, our USB-C expansion hub is a stylish and portable companion for your USB-C laptops and phones. Simply plug in the attached USB-C cable into any USB-C port on your device, and then the USB-C hub is ready for your external accessories, making your life convenient. Uh, just 4K format, uh, 3.0, gigabyte internet connection, and US one has a one USB. C type C port for charging um, power delivery up to three amps and this is a little here it says this is all it comes with the little hub six in one hub the user manual and it has a year warranty oh fancy and you get a six month extra if you uh, want warranty on their website which I did not do that's all good so anyway, let's see what's in here very very simple box slim easy design Two USB 3 ports, a gigabit connector end inlet. This is for the USB C powering up. This is for um, the uh, HDMI from your. Um, hold on a second here. No, that's so. This is powering up from the brick that you, you do uh, from your Google, uh, your Chromecast with Google TV. The power hub, power brick connects into here. This is the other side of it which is data port and power and everything in one, which is type C that connects to the back of the uh, Google uh, Chromecast. That is what you plug into the Chromecast for power on the other side of it. And then the Chromecast on the other side to the TV connects through. Um, yeah, and there's another um, USB 3.0 right there too. And uh, what you just do, of course, is take your USB thumb drive. Mine's 32 gig, plug it in right there. We'll plug in the ethernet right there. I just said, and plug this into the back of their Chromecast after plugging in the internet and then um, and then plugging power into it right here, this point right there. So let's see how this looks, how it works, and I'll show you on the screen. Stay tuned. All right, everyone. So now, after adding the device, storage, and internet straight connected to it, I'll show you how it works and how it looks. So let's go over here to settings. Uh, first things you want to do, of course, is you want to make yourself a develop developer. So you need to go to System. Go down to, up, um, oh sorry, go About. Go over down to the actual Android 10 and press this t seven times. Oh, oops, sorry, <laughs> not that. I mean the uh, the the actual. Sorry, to brain fart there for a second. There, it's been a long day. Um, seven times on Android TV OS build there. Get back out of that. Now you're going to see, so let's go home out of this. I'll go back over to the right um, to show you that the internet is connected and working. It says internet connected now. So if you don't have that connected, normally it would just say Wi-Fi, whatever network it is right there. So next thing, of course, we want to go down to is uh, system. And then we want to go all the way down to developer options, so enable developer options. And there's a few different things we want to put on here. You want to enable the debugging. And you uh, want to make sure at the bottom here that it is set to. Uh, oh, yeah, another good thing to do is uh, change your window animation scale to 
0.5 now it makes it go a lot faster so you just go through all those transition to amateur direct and change them to 0.5 it makes it a lot faster and a smoother experience and then we want to go all the way down to the apps so you want to force allowable apps on external so you click that now I'm going to get out of here um, so I did the, add the SD card and it was formatted that you saw there but you still want to go to settings and you want to go down to your actual uh, system and then go down to storage and you see now I have mine shows up to enable once you install it and enable it to be able to move the apps over like I started moving over here you need to actually reformat it again once you do the the USB drive fat um, format on the computer first, then connect it, and then bring it over here. It'll just show this, but it, it won't let you actually change or move any apps over. So what you have to do, of course, is go ahead and reformat it by erasing and um, reformat and removable storage. It'll reformat it, and then you can move everything over. So let's, for instance, let's go and I'll show you how it works. So to move apps over, what you want to do, go to your internal storage, go down to your apps. <coughs> And we'll just click uh, see all apps. We'll go to BBC America. So we're going to go over to the right from BBC America. We're going to click on storage unit used. And now it pops up this new menu internal storage, storage, or a sand desk. So I'm going to move it over to here now. Now it's going to move it over. And pretty much you do that for almost every app that you can. I would leave the certain apps that you actually like or use the most on the actual. Um, memory of the device itself, you know, the 4 gig there. But the less the better, of course, on there. Then it'll keep it running smoothly. So yeah, let's move, uh, it's Disney Plus, I always move a lot. Um, you know, I'll move Downloader over, just to show you again me doing it. Click on Storage Used, move it down to the memory, I mean, my storage disk there, which is, it's called SanDisk on mine. I just added a 32 gig, because I'm not going to need much more than that here. Perfect. So uh, let's do another one. HGTV. Yeah, might as well move it over. Get it clear up some more space. Like I said, the, the better. The more apps you move over, the less less memory on being used up on the device itself it makes it move run a lot smoother. All right. So let's get out of here. Um, and I'm gonna get out of here and go to apps real quick. And I and uh, to show you how the thing runs, I have a gigabit connector on this particular device that um, I will put in the description for you guys to use but uh, oops let me get out of here sorry it works really well um, let's go to my apps go down to your apps go to see all and we're going to go down to the actual internet fiber test to run a speed test on this you saw what the last speed was now this is connected directly, so oh, it does it once in a while. I'll, I'll see that weird message from this particular app, but I'm just using this app just to test, so don't stress about that. Now, if you don't uh, have gigabit, um, you're probably still going to get better speeds with this versus Wi-Fi, um, but you know, just checking both Wi-Fi and then I actual um, hard line to it. Let me see what I'm getting here. Pretty darn good speeds. You always can get better latency. Um, less latency, of course, when a, with a hard direct connect line to it. Yeah, so there you go. Um, the device, this is how you guys actually add storage and internet with one device to the Chromecast with Google TV now. As always guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, you know, please leave me a comment. I'll answer as, as quick as I can for you. I'm glad I'm here to help with you. But as always, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, just subscribe to my channel. And uh, you guys have a great night.